I am down in Georgia writing business this week. Uh, came down early yesterday morning, sold 25 life insurance policies yesterday. Sold 22 life insurance policies today. Uh, it's been a long, kind of chaotic day. It was one thing right after another. So just to give you a little context of, of what's going on with me today, um, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you remember, you know, for three and a half years, I lived on the road. And by lived on the road, I mean, I live, my home is in Greenville, South Carolina, but I was um, selling in a territory that was in Georgia, kind of the Atlanta area of Georgia. And so I spent 200 plus nights on the road for three and a half years. And a little over two years ago is when I started building my personal brand and my ambition to document my life here on, on social media. And a lot of that was through this very format, through Facebook Live. And I would get on, you know, late Sunday night, early Monday morning as I would be on the road headed down to Georgia for another week of, of selling life insurance. And I would, I would put a goal out there and I would jump on, you know, sometimes throughout the day, but at the very least at the end of each day uh, while I was in uh, Georgia. My goal is to sell 100 life insurance policies this week. Let you know where we're at toward this goal of 100 policies. And then at the end of the week, I would jump on Facebook Live and tell my results. Hey, my goal was to sell this many policies. Here's where I ended up. Good, bad, or indifferent. And it's going to be similar this week. I've been out of the field, as in not selling uh, personally myself anymore, uh, for about eight months. A big priority shift in my life. A lot of that had to do with um, you know, my coaching with Sean Whalen and really getting my priorities in line. Uh, my priorities being you know, my relationship with God, my relationship with my family, my daughter, and then obviously my business and, and everything else. And so I transitioned into more of a leadership role at our corporate office. But, you know, sometimes you got to go back to the basics, right? Like somebody just said, back to the basics. Tommy just said, back to the basics. I'm still doing that crazy intermittent fasting, so I haven't yet eaten a meal today. But sold the 22 policies, got back to the hotel, and had one of those defining moments that I talk so often about. The finding sounds like this grandiose, it sounds like this large, monumental, yeah. life-changing thing, but it's so small and they're hidden throughout your day. Yep. And the way that you identify them is become by becoming more self-aware. Jumped on the bed, opened up my laptop to answer a few emails, and there was a critical, critical moment where I could shut my eyes for, for a minute knowing that I would <laughs> doze off and have probably an epic nap or I could get up and go work out get up and go for a run and I'd love to tell you that you know the second that the thought entered my mind I hopped up threw my clothes on and ran out the door but no I, <laughs> I battled back and forth back and forth I thought of all those reasons all those excuses is why I really need to do it I just ran a half marathon on Saturday ran 10 miles like three or four days before that, yeah, I'm good. Haven't eaten yet today. My intermittent fasting is on point. If I just get a good meal in, you know, the diet will, will kind of overcompensate for the, the lack of the workout. But I ended up getting up and going for a run. Doing it anyway, 